Hi, I'm Dwayne Sadlick uh, from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I found this van out in Caledonia in 2002, which had been sitting for 23 years in the barn. Uh, and um, it's basically been my uh, daily driver for the last few years. Uh, there ain't nothing like riding in them, so once you get in there, you get hooked. So I've done quite a bit of work to it, though. Around the bottom, I've had to replace a lot of rust and kept the paint as original as we could, basically. Um, still got all the original interior right from the 70s, so it's um, got a 256. It's a 68 Chevy, a G10. It's got a 256 with still got the one barrel with a set of headers on there three on the tree. It's got like 336 rear end in it. But um, I put about 50,000 miles on it since I've had it. And for a short time I was running a hydrogen cell on there. Increased my gas mileage from 15 to 23 miles a gallon by burning water. Wow. And they say you can't do that. I want to try that. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Uh, but uh, I don't know what else I can tell you about it. Uh, the rims, I basically got uh, the back ones where I was told come off an El Camino. It turned out they were Ford rims because they had a Ford 9 inch in there. Oh, yeah. So I just moved the lug holes over a little bit and uh, put it on a mill machine and milled them a little bit and uh, they fit like a glove. Hmm. And then uh, the front rims originally had 14 inch rims, but I moved to 15 so I could get disc brakes in there. Mm -hmm. But I basically made my own bracket disc brake bracket and uh, got the rotors are off a 89 Pontiac Firebird which mm -hmm. fit on the hub on that so mm -hmm. uh, and the paint everything was pretty much the way it is right uh, the color is except from the belt line down it's a little bit darker because I uh, I didn't really care for that U-Haul orange it was originally U-Haul orange oh. and the funny thing about orange paint is it doesn't fade it always gets darker yeah. so it was uh, it was kind of interesting because all of the paint that we used, I, we ended up uh, getting low on paint. So we took five or six different cans of paint um, that my brother had from jobs that he had done and I helped him with. Mm -hmm. So all these vehicles, I helped him do body work and he painted. I got a little bit of the paint from each one of them that ended up getting blended in here. So oh, a little bit of my history went into the... Mm -hmm. Paint on it. I see you have the, uh, the window uh, screens. Did you make those? Or yeah, that's just a piece of screen with some door magnets uh, running around the inside, mm -hmm. holds it in there. Could be a little more high tech, but. It works, right? Yeah, it does. Fantastic. And, uh, and you got a, you got a roof vent on the back and a cowl. Yeah, it's got a fan in there, it goes, uh, blows in or out. Mm -hmm. So, because in these vans, you don't really want the fan sucking the hot air out because it draws the fumes out of the engine compartment in there. So if you have it blowing in, it, you can get the air in that, uh, the fumes, it kind of pushes it out. And then uh, the mufflers, I put glass packs on there, but they were way too long. Mm -hmm. So I ended up cutting them into 45s, putting them back together. So the muffler itself comes back and turns on a 45 in order to fit under there. Mm -hmm. And I put a crossover pipe in there with a air fuel meter in it. So I can tell if it's running rich or lean. Oh, cool. And, uh, that's what I need. <laughs> yeah, on this side right here, I got a stainless steel drawer that fits up underneath. And it's got a Cadillac window motor that lowers it down out of there. And then there's the storage, and that's where I would keep my hydrogen cell when I had it in there. And now you can put tents or whatever thing else in there. Yeah, this is a door come off a, a later Chevy van. And uh, I, that's the only modification I've done to as far as the body which put me in a, a mild custom class. But I like it because it cleaned it up. It was all rusted out around there. Yeah, and you were saying you showed it at some shows? Uh, you got the... Oh yeah, I, uh, it's won first place at the Nationals in 2012 and in 2017. Mm -hmm. And then I got a lot of local shows, got a lot of trophies from local shows and stuff. One of my favorites is the, the van that you most likely wouldn't want to catch your daughter in. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Took me uh, a few years it. to get that one, but I thought that was a nice. good one. I don't know. Yeah, that's hilarious. Not that they have anything to worry about. And then that license plate there, I bought that from a collector. I paid 90 bucks for it. Wow. Perfect. You know, 
Yeah, are those original tail lights or the Yeah, those are, yeah. Those are original, yeah. And the backup lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I made that trailer hitch for it there, tucked it all up in okay. there. Okay, what do you pull with that, anything? Or yeah, this little trailer here. And I pulled a full size car trailer with a forty five hundred pound minivan on there. Wow. That six cylinder has to work though to do that mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You got some, uh, yeah, all the curtains, the fur, everything's all original. Mm -hmm. was in there when I found it. Here, wow. I'll, yeah. mm -hmm. I'll pull this rug out of here a second. Mm -hmm. That was mine. But yeah, it's hard to believe that the interior survived all those years. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. There's a, Thank God there. it was closed up, right? Yeah, it, it looked pretty bad when I first got it. I was a little bit worried about it, but I just got lucky, I guess. I did have the whole ceiling out of it though this year and cleaned it all and it definitely was a need. Now this is your daily driver? Yeah, I figured there ain't no sense in paying for anything. I don't want to drive something else anyway, so. There you go. The price insurance, you know. Yeah, so you got uh, storage under the bed and all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything under there, tools and all that, I guess. They'd oh yeah, you can fit so much stuff in there, especially. Mm -hmm. There's both sides. You open up the back doors and there's a compartment that's about two foot deep and then the drawers are almost two foot deep, it seems, so a whole lot of stuff in there. I do have a tendency to carry a lot of stuff. <laughs> that was all like that, except for that chain in the front window. I put that in there. It was, I wanted it to kind of resemble like the head dressing on an elephant, how it has that head dressing hanging down. Because the flat nose kind of reminds me of an elephant a little bit. Yeah. yeah, Foreigner was my band in the 70s when I was in high school. And I had uh, my first 68 Chevy van had a Craig 8 track, and I had one 8 track that fitted, and it was called Black Sheep, and it was the lead singer of Foreigner was with Black Sheep. So every time I got in the van, it was the only thing I had, so I'd plug it in and it played till I got out, and that went on for about a year. And then, uh, then Lou got uh, hired in by Foreigner, and then that became my band, you know. Yeah, I keep it in there for nostalgia reasons. And you're with, there goes the neighborhood bands. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, there. And then uh, uh, in 2016, I talked to Matt Stickies. Mm -hmm. Got oh, the Mitchell. Custom yeah. Banner magazine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And um, he told me he'd get my van in there, and uh, here's the, the front page of that nice. ad right there. Mm -hmm. He definitely did me right, except he kind of spelled my name wrong, but I think that's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> Just uh, cuts out too many people trying to contact me, yeah. I guess. But yeah, I was really happy with this. It was. It took this a year after we did the body work around the bottom, so it was looking at its best at the mm -hmm. time. There it was. Good stuff. Yep. But Fantastic. It's definitely been a life changer though for me. Yeah. This here was actually mm -hmm. this is the on and off switch for the hydrogen cell. Oh that yeah. was in I'll there. Do. See it worked out and then I put an amp gauge in there with a big old wire just so I could see how much. I was mm -hmm. drawing about thirty five amps and and went from fifteen to twenty three miles a gallon. Wow. But then uh there was a few little flaws in it I need to work out. Now I put that inverter in there, so now when I'm driving down the road, I can have the fan sitting next to me in the seat. That's my air conditioner. There you go. Yeah, you got to have air. A little bit of air. Yeah, I got quite a few little gadgets in there. Oh, there's your CB down there? What is that down there? You had your fire, your fire. Well, there's a CB down there, and then this that box there next to the fire extinguisher, what that is is it's got, it's hooked up to the fan, so when I'm driving down the road, the helper fan sucks in but when I shut it down and park it I reverse the fan and it blows the heat out the front which seems to evacuate the heat out of there a lot quicker mm -hmm. and I also got an off switch for my gas line so what I do is when I go to park it is I shut the gas off and let it run completely out of gas so you don't get to smell all the fumes mm -hmm. because these vans they get so hot that that one barrel will act like a percolator and boil the gas right out into the intake until 
until the bowl is empty, basically. Wow. So when the fan's blowing out the front, if I go to start it, there's a switch down there and a red light comes on and a, bl a blinker and a buzzer oh. to tell me my fan's blowing the wrong way. Otherwise, uh, have the tendency to overheat oh, so nice. when, wow. when the fan's working against itself. Uh, his name is Ray. I'm not sure his last name is, but uh, he owns a body shop in Door, Michigan mm -hmm. now. And I ran at him at a wedding reception. So I said, I definitely got to get a picture of you standing next to it. So I had this one printed up. So when I drive out there sometime, I'm giving that to hang on his wall. And nice. Shot. And he's the one that painted it. Yeah, he painted it originally. Wow. Okay, so what do we got here now? These are the pictures of when I got it back in 2002. It was sitting in a pole barn. Uh, it was stored for 23 years. The original owner uh, moved to Florida and he left it with his daughter and her boyfriend at the time who ended up to be her husband but 23 years later he figured out that he was never going to get a move down to Florida so he called him up and said you might as well go ahead and sell that van so it was in the ad in the Grand Rapids bargain corner um, and I called about it but I never went and looked at it and then about six months to a year later they ran an ad again and I still had the original ad so I looked and it was the same phone number so I called him up Decided to go look at it, and of course, as soon as I saw it, I had to have it because he was only asking 500 bucks for it. So when I took it to the car wash, right down the road, about a mile, and the carpet in there was just covered with, you know, all the mouse crap, you know. Mm. I grabbed the carpet and pulled it out, and it had an identical carpet underneath that was brand new. Wow. They had two pieces of carpet in there all them years and saved it, so... Oh. At first, I thought the whole interior was going to be shocked. It's just the way it smelled or when I opened it up. Mm -hmm. But then I cleaned it all up. A month later, after I fixed all the mechanicals, I took it to a first car show, and it took a first place in the two-wheel trucks. Nice. So that was pretty interesting. I think I had like $1,200 in it by then. But now, you know, this van definitely changed my life. It was life-changing experience. Yeah, fantastic. I always so. love to hear these stories, man. And this is what the young guys need to hear. You know, oh. just, and even the old guys, you know, we're still doing it, right? Right. We're still at it. Best early overall is 29.